Hi, I'm Tiffany Kuntz from FEMA Center for Domestic Preparedness with a response short on fentanyl awareness. Did you know it only takes as little as two to three milligrams of fentanyl to cause respiratory depression, cardiac arrest, and potentially death? Fentanyl and fentanyl-related substances pose a significant threat to responders. Due to the high potency of fentanyl, exposure to even small quantities can be extremely dangerous. Fentanyl can be present in a variety of forms to include powder, patches, tablets, capsules, solutions, and even rocks. Given the increase in fentanyl exposures, responders should approach situations and encounters with a hazardous materials mindset. Although dangerous, fentanyl can be handled safely with proper training and equipment to include hazard recognition and personal protective equipment. Responders should always immediately contact appropriate jurisdiction officials trained to handle hazardous materials if presence of fentanyl is suspected. Accidental exposures by responders can occur under a number of circumstances, such as the execution of search or arrest warrants, the processing of evidence, or responding to or treating a suspected drug overdose. Inhaling airborne powder is most likely to lead to harmful effects, but is less likely to occur than skin contact. Incidental skin contact is not expected to lead to harmful effects if the contaminated skin is promptly washed with soap and water. Canines are also at serious risk of exposure and must be protected. When encountering a suspected opioid, consider using a P100 respirator or an N95 vinyl or nitrile gloves and eye protection. Do not touch your eyes, mouth, nose, or skin after touching a potentially contaminated surface or substance. Before exiting the scene, wash your hands and any exposed skin thoroughly with soap and cool water. Do not use alcohol-based hand sanitizers as they may enhance absorption. Do not eat, drink, smoke, or use the restroom without first washing. If you suspect your clothing, shoes, equipment, or PPE may be contaminated, follow jurisdictional guidelines for decontamination. Any non-drug item identified at a location suspected of involving fentanyl should be treated with the same caution as drug evidence. Closely follow your department's policies and procedures for packaging and transporting suspected fentanyl-related evidence. Take caution not to contaminate yourself or others during evidence collection. If an exposure occurs, remove the exposed individual from the contaminated environment. Remove clothing if it is contaminated. If contact is required, wear appropriate barrier precautions. Immediately contact 911, seek medical attention, and offer appropriate assistance to include an approved antidote if available. Naloxone is a medicine that serves as an antidote for opioid overdose by restoring the overdosed victim's breathing. If a person's breathing has slowed, stopped, or an overdose is suspected, naloxone can act as a bridge between the call to 911 and when help arrives. Naloxone only reverses an opioid overdose. It is not an antidote for overexposure to other drugs, such as benzodiazepines, bath salts, cocaine, methamphetamine, or alcohol. Naloxone may be effective for polysubstance overdoses, such as a combined opioid and alcohol overdose. Naloxone acts in two to five minutes. If the person doesn't wake in five minutes, follow local protocols for repeated dosing. If appropriate, Rescue breathing, or CPR, should be performed until the naloxone takes effect. Naloxone typically wears off in 30 to 90 minutes. After this time, the person may stop breathing again, requiring naloxone to be readministered. Closely monitor victims after administration. The Interagency Board provides personal protective equipment and decontamination recommendations based upon exposure risk and operational function in recommendations on selection and use of personal protective equipment and decontamination products for first responders against exposure hazards to synthetic opioids including fentanyl and fentanyl analogs. This can be located at interagencyboard.org. Fentatips application is an app available for Apple and Android smartphones. It contains information on detection, PPE, decontamination, and treatment. So to recap, Although dangerous, fentanyl can be handled safely with proper training and equipment. Responders should approach situations and encounters with a hazardous materials mindset. If an exposure occurs, immediately contact 911, seek medical attention, and offer appropriate assistance. This has been a CDP response short. Be prepared. Be safe.